A Moon Shaped Pool is a startling album and one of my favourite from the past decade. It's an album with changing textures and an ephemeral feel. It suitably covers topics such as issues with the environment, love that has expired and about a desensitization in society today. So I wanted to spend this video talking through some of these themes with you guys and hopefully it sparks some thoughts about the world that you may not have thought of before. Gentle pianos are littered throughout, an acoustic guitar that always cuts through the track and a beautiful string orchestra are also present. And this is on top of the subtle electronic hints that are sprinkled throughout. But don't let that fool you, this album presents dark ideas in a beautiful way. Burn the Witch is a track that talks about the witch hunt of people via social media and the modern internet, how quickly spreading information whether real or not, has a snowball effect that can destroy the livelihoods of people. This is a reference to the similar witch hunts of the past where accusations would spread throughout towns. In an era where knowledge is plentiful, how are we to maintain that sense of trust and genuinity? Is subjective thought fading? Or will future generations amplify individuality? To me, this is an incredibly important track. The numbers also adds that society limits our expressive capabilities. We're all reduced to numbers and we're basically at the tipping point of whether knowledge will destroy us or help us. Now, the track Daydreaming speaks of living a better life in a dream, that what we create in our heads is somewhat of a better version. But then sadly, when we wake up, we wake up to the realization that it wasn't real and that real life actually isn't perfect and has flaws. I think we as humans tend to have a desire to return to our mystical dreams at times because we project what we want, but only subconsciously. There also exists another type of person, the dreamer, who never realizes that not everything our subconscious generates is real or is possible. Most people probably have moments of being a dreamer, of creating a perfect life scenario in their head. And yes, I'm guilty of that. but. I also know that the only way we can guarantee some level of certainty in life is just by doing, doing something, whatever that is, to gain those achievements in our head. Present tense speaks on the idea of living in a dream of love, another area where we lose our sense of self. The track Dex Dark on one part could be a long statement of denial. The spacecraft blocking the sky is a truth that we hide from, an infinite mass that we cover with lies. We've all got character flaws in some manner, but we never try to rectify it. How could we? We're all individual beings, and we're all continuously told to be the best version of ourselves and never compromise. It could also be about memories that linger. Perhaps Tom is referencing Rachel or even his past self. Or is it that we spend so much time trying to make new versions of ourselves every year, that while looking backwards to our actual character, we might be able to discover the things that can actually save us. Who knows? Desert Island Disc is a really interesting track that could be about different perspectives on love. A good basis to explore this would be the Greek theories. Eros or passionate love, philia aka deep friendship, ludus aka playful love, agape aka love for everyone, pragma for long-standing love and philosia aka love of the self. The person in question has woken up from shutdown from a thousand years of sleep and perhaps has realised the truth about the world and what things truly mean, whether that's from years of experience of being with someone or finally not being with someone. Identikit is also similar, speaking on the fear of having a broken heart as a result of the choices one makes. The track Full Stop is somewhat of a parallel discovery in my eyes. The person in this song realises a truth that he, she wants to now take back, to forget it completely, to leave it alone. A panic attack ensues because of this realization. The full stop here is the inability to act against the truth. No action can take back what this person has done or heard from someone. Inability to act against the truth. I feel like that is a powerful statement because we're often afraid of facing up to reality. And as I've already mentioned, our subconscious generates dreams that are so far from reality. We're creative creatures as human beings and we tend to want things for the best of us, but we're always scared of seeing things from a negative light. And also with this, we're scared of seeing the real truth. 
In Glass Eyes, there's a slow build of anxiety on the soft, cinematic sweeps of string and piano, again fusing the two key themes so far of alienation from society and perhaps from an individual. The narrator alights from a train into an unfamiliar town and picks his way through faces of concrete grey, people who are somewhat stone walls, and then heading towards the mountain, a place of quiet, of calm. The track is really just as abstract as that and is certainly a haunting piece. I do think that glass eyes represents the feeling of alienation. When you feel like your environment can no longer give you what you want, maybe because you've outgrown it or maybe because you seek something else entirely. Whether that's chasing happiness or fulfillment, I leave to you to interpret. Tinker Taylor, Soldier Sailor is a song that to me represents making an overwhelming choice that could be dangerous. The path of embracing anxiety and feeling the impossibility of it all is such a pure experience. I feel like this is the closest song that makes me think about feeling something, about turning the tides on the perception of life, that this world can feel like a dream, but only if you let it. This album is a new learning experience for even the most ardent of Radiohead fans. Its sights and sounds are quite abstract and definitely unfamiliar. But as the album progresses, we see how this takes shape in a new way. It's not quite a frightening darkness. No, not quite. It's a soothing, calm realization almost. The fact that it takes multiple listens to gauge the density of not only what's being said, but heard speaks volumes about how the team have brought together such an abstract yet complex set of topics and made it digestible.